Hey all and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is the first video that I've actually recorded with a voiceover, so <laughs> bear with me and my awkwardness, but in today's video we're going to be trying out some brushes on Fire Alpaca that I really like, or don't like, or are just a bit weird. <laughs> um, but the normal pen tool bunch of opacity that I'm trying out and then the fade in fade out pen. I don't really know many people who have used the fade in and out pen. Um, I tried using it, using it earlier but I didn't really like it and it was a bit messy and I guess it's just trying to get used to it but <laughs> I'd rather just stick with the normal pen. Um, but here I'm trying out the pencil tool. Pencil can be yeah quite good to use especially for outlining or instead if you don't want to use onion skin mode and all the layers then maybe you can try pencil as a small sketch um but i don't really use that either i tend to do the pen and layers which i see many other people do <laughs> um but the edge pen it's a bit odd <laughs> i don't know anyone who uses this i don't really know what its purpose is um <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't know, I'm just trying it out, trying all the different opacities and sizes and I don't know, I don't think I'll be using it in a video anytime soon. Um, but the airbrush, I know that a lot of people use the airbrush as a sort of shading technique and a few people say don't use it, it's not the best and it, to be honest it's not the best. Um, it's best to use layers and pen tools. And for hair, I sometimes use the watercolour brush, which I'll be showing you in, in a minute. But seriously guys, don't use the airbrush as a shade tool. Airbrush can be used as a sort of, I don't know, like I'm doing here, it's a landscape that I'm doing. I'm pressing all the colours together. It doesn't look the best, but mm, it, 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 look, it kind of gives a cloudy effect as if the sky is very cloudy at night and um, in a few drawings that I have done I have added small little um, fireflies in the background or stars so I lower the opacity down to about 48% and keep the size rather high but only press down quite low on your tablet um, to get the sort of flying little speck of light effect <laughs> um uh yeah those extra dots there it was just the second airbrush that fire alpaca also gives you i don't really know the answer for why there is two but mm, probably to give you two extra um sizes and opacity if you only have one and don't have to keep changing them but here, I know it's the outline's quite thick, but it's a piece of hair, which I'm going to show you how I create a sort of ombre effect when colouring the hair and I want two different colours in it. But I mostly use watercolour, um, the watercolour brush to blend in colours like I'm going to do now. And it's best to start from the bottom and work your way up to whatever point you want, um, just so that effect can blend in slightly with the top layer of the colour that you want, rather than starting from the top and having that solid bright effect and fading really light into the bottom, which doesn't exactly look natural, but if you want it to look that way then I suppose you can do it. But this is the way that I tend to do it and I'm not saying you have to do it this way I'm just showing you uh, the brushes that I use and how I use them um, but also best to use two layers so you don't accidentally go over onto the outline and use the protect alpha um, so just changing the opacity now and hmm. <laughs> just putting the blending smudge brush on 
over the hair. I was going to draw another sort of picture, but the first recording messed up of this, so I guess I'm just going to use the hair for it. But the smudge effect kind of shows the small, sort of dripping slime effect that I use on characters, faces, or whatever I want to look kind of slimy and weird. <laughs> um, but the next thing that we're going to be using is all the different brushes that I hardly use um, but Fire Alpaca gives you anyway in case you want to use them but the star brushes I sometimes use them but not all the time the stem brushes I don't use them uh, I don't really know why I would use these ones um, marker is a bit of an underrated brush uh, I'm I quite like it but then again I'd rather stick with the pen but marker can be used and it looks really good and fluffy tool it's sort of pixelated but not really um, and the symmetry I don't know I'm sure there's an like a setting that you can change the symmetry to have one face rather than two but I know that that is in Photoshop and probably not Fire Alpaca so that's what I've made do with also I do want to try and get into uh, Photoshop but it's just learning all the buttons and what everything does and uh, it's, it's a bit much <laughs> um, but we're having to use that for our course anyway, so might have to. But it's coming up to the end of the video now, and if you would like, please tell me in the comments what brushes do you use, what brushes uh, help you the most, and what do you want me to do in future videos, because I've had a few requests on Twitter, and I'm on Instagram as well, so make sure you follow me, links are in the description, and yeah. I'll see you soon. Bye.